I hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, my name is Seppi, <laughs> and today I'm joined by my friend Kim. Hi guys. And we are about to do something <laughs> very different on my channel. So last night, or was it last night? It was the night before. I messaged Kim, and I was like, I've just watched this video on YouTube, and it was so interesting, and I want to do it for London. Sorry about the background noise. We are in central London and um, we are about to try, as you can tell from the title, the worst rated restaurant um, in London. Disclaimer from now, we're not going to say the name of the restaurant at all because this isn't to um, like bash a restaurant or like ruin someone's business. So we're not going to mention like the name of the restaurant or anything like that. But we just want to see if the reviews are like very harshly yeah. critiqued. Um, but a lot of the videos that I've watched of people doing this um, they always seem to get takeout from the place that they're eating whereas I feel like reviews are usually like the experience yeah the experience like so many people were complaining about like the service and etc and so this place had 200 I got one who's taking me <laughs> um, is that it that's what I was thinking I, I think, think that's so. it that is it so this restaurant had 240 reviews on TripAdvisor giving it 1.2 stars or something and 46 reviews on Google giving it 1.4 stars so if you round that it's got one star <laughs> okay <laughs> you had to round that to a whole number this place has one star people were no, saying that the food oh, yeah, it is yeah should we read some of the reviews before we go in yeah let me get it on my phone okay get it up on your phone we have to read you some How of the reviews. It? It's Italian cuisine. How do I look for it? Oh, TripAdvisor. she's reading the TripAdvisor reviews. TripAdvisor has given it one and a half star. Right, so some reviews consist of... Out of, wait, 243 reviews, 163 people reviewed it terrible, terrible. 37 people reviewed it poor, 25 people reviewed it average, 13 people reviewed it very good, and five people excellent out of 243. So we're going in like... We, we're gonna neutrally judge because we're actually very hungry and we're really one hoping. One review says poor lasagna and <laughs> restaurant. What was the one? We read one where it said that someone was upset that they had to pull the coke from the from the cans themselves. I mean, the service that's not was such bad. Issue. That's not so we were like, issue. yeah, that's that's kind of one of those people who like just you know keyboard warriors loves to sit down and. and I work. ordered seafood linguine and I think it smells so bad. I did not eat it. The lady who showed us the table gave me water and I requested she just pumped it. <laughs> Okay, so there's a mixture of- Avoid at all costs! <laughs> oh god. Wait, 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 read the ones where it's like, it's a lot of people saying it tastes like freezer food and they've this awful experience, tastes like canned food. Some people saying that they saw the people defrost the food right in front of them. Basically, lots of people saying- It looks cute. It looks really cute. So those people saying, oh, I saw the food defrost in front of us. So we are going in as like a really blind review. We're not gonna, um, like go off what we've heard and we are going to be judging it overall like our experience we could enjoy it yeah yeah we're gonna we're gonna be very honest as we can and i can't wait if we don't enjoy it you will see the aftermath i mean <laughs> i mean she on the way here she was like i saw a kfc um but yeah like i'm very hungry right now and i love italian food so you know she may have order with Kimia is making me choose because she doesn't want to choose but I don't know what I want let's get a pasta and a pizza yeah also this angle is so weird I should probably hold it up here but I don't want to make it fade where I am we are the only people that welcome to my crib <laughs> I quite like the, the bottles you on the ceiling the bottles? They, they're wine babes So, yeah. Having a little sniff. <laughs> Dishwasher. <-y. laughs> That's good. I mean, it's all hygienic. Oh. Bottled water. Yeah, I ordered a Diet Coke and then I forgot that my New Year's resolution is no more Diet Coke or no more like fizzy Mine pretty drink. much is two, but I wish they I think fun. I had a, a sip of Diet Coke on Saturday, but I forgive myself. It's just one sip. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I got sparkling water instead. So this is the pizza and it's tiny. Definitely better than pizza. It's ready made, it's pre-made frozen food. What? It's pre-made frozen food. It looks like the... It's the express one you can get in Waitrose. 
and this is my pasta I'll just have a little bite tea have a little bite <laughs> How is it? British cheese. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. So I just tried the pasta. I'm trying to get for you guys. Who made it? There's no chef in the kitchen. There's <laughs> 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 <Just> no chef. <laughs> the case of appearing pasta. <laughs> Try the Try the pasta. There's no need to blow it, it's not hot. It's just simple, isn't it? Can't taste bad. The pasta tastes good. If you had to rate the pasta out of 10, what would you rate it? A 5 for it being just. Not that it's horrible, but we could, you could. Although, we why, could is there, it. why is there celery in the pasta? No, I'm not kidding. There is, this is, this is celery. And that. Inspector Kim. So, uh, we've got pasta, which consists of bacon, tomatoes, chili. This and bacon. This is a piece of ham that is cut up <laughs> into squares. <laughs> bacon is crispy. Yeah, th this is, this is like. That, I've tasted that, that's not cute. It's the okay. crust is good. You can't go wrong with the crust. But I feel like it's all wet for me. Look at this. The bread is still wet. All oh, here, it's still doughy. This is just good there. That's small easy <laughs> I've asked Kim to guess how much it's going to come to. 32 pounds. 32. That's my guess. Should I guess? So we had one water, one diet coke, one pizza, and one pasta. In a normal place, that would probably come to like, in like Lattice, that would probably come to like 20, 20 quid. Thirty-two you won the game. <laughs> I won the game! <laughs> I guessed it correctly guys, it was £32. So the pizza was £12, £11.95. And the pasta was £10.95, £11. And then £2.50 for a diet cake, £2.50 for a hookah. And That's the best part of the meal, mate. And £4.10 <laughs> for service. Fit appreciation for Kim. I love her new shoes. Oh. I love your whole outfit. Work attire. Beautiful. Okay, so honest reviews. Right. Let's start it wasn't with okay, bad. It let's wasn't start with inedible. the service. The service out of ten, I'd give her a ten. Like yeah, she tried same. her she best. Was cute. She was a lovely lady and she cooked up. Wait, Kim she says cooked. I didn't have a view into the kitchen, but Kim says there was no one in there. There was no one in there. And somehow the food cooked by itself and the lady went in, she came out, she went back in and the food appeared on the table. So yeah, so we think she might have cooked it, but uh, we don't know for sure. The pizza 100% was frozen. Yeah, as in I agree with the reviews online, the pizza was from frozen. And every time I took, like as in, it looked like the pizza you make yourself at home. Yeah, and the dough was still yeah, wet. Yeah, the dough was still wet. Like the onions that she took chopped onto there like were not fresh because they tasted sweet. Yeah. Whereas normal onions taste spicy. And 
it just it didn't taste good and the pepperoni was just terrible like terrible yeah. like it it was like cardboard. it was poor it was just poor. yeah so wait let's rate the pizza the pizza out of 10 it would get like a two yeah a two okay um the pasta only because it's edible though not because it tasted yeah good, so it was it we ordered the spice we ordered the pepperoni and onion pizza by the way and chili but there was I no chili they added on extra mushroom oh yeah they added extra oh mushroom my God, it wasn't spicy <laughs> yeah it wasn't spicy we asked for it spicy and there was no mushroom so yeah it was really bad the next thing that we got was the pasta so we got the uh, spaghetti amatrishana, um, which is basically spaghetti with tomato and bacon, but it came with ham. Pieces of ham. Pieces of ham. I thought it tasted good. Like I would give it a good like um, six out of ten, but as in a home cooked six out of ten. Pa like restaurant quality pasta. Yeah, there should have been more like flavour. No, restaurant just... quality pasta. It was literally like a tomato I could sauce. I say they put yeah tin tomatoes, yeah. olive oil to make it a bit thicker. Maybe yeah. added a bit of like oregano. But other than that, they didn't add any. They didn't add any oregano. We could have made. I don't it. know what you. Yeah, I could make a, you a better meal. Yeah, I could make you a better and meal. And not too. charge you. <laughs> yeah, same. And then to top it all off, we paid thirty-two pounds for a, a tiny microwave pizza. Honestly, it was a pasta, a pasta, Marzi Jun and Katty Jun can make <laughs> way better. And a water was two fifty, and a cook was two fifty, which is normal. And then four pound ten service. It was not good. Appalling. Yeah, it wasn't good. <laughs> I wouldn't on TripAdvisor. Okay, wait. wait we have to give stars, yeah, because on TripAdvisor it's out of five stars. What would you give it? I'd give it two. One and a half. Yeah, that's what it's rated on, on oh, yeah. the internet. One and a half. And a half yeah. yeah. Just because it's edible food, they, they're nice people. It's family run, but you can tell they're literally like she said it to us. She said we're just trying to keep alive. Yeah. Like it's just, which made me feel bad because like. I really wanted to give like a really good review, like I wanted to be I wrong feel like about she it. Knew it was a good but as in I think you can tell because if you don't have a chef or like She said she didn't have a chef. She said he's yeah. on holiday. Oh yeah, she said her chef is on holiday. If you don't have a chef, it's really hard for you to make really yummy food in my opinion, unless you yourself are a really good chef, in which case you wouldn't be able to wait the tables too. I don't know. Over we do not recommend going to the worst rated restaurant. I think they're worst rated for a reason. Like there's better Italian food out there. Even ZZ is much better. Yeah, even like Latista. Latista. Latista in Golders Green is a really good home Alfresco family West, run so. home cooked Italian food. So we recommend that, but yeah, it wasn't good. So we are gonna end this video here. Uh, I forgot to say that the one that I watched that inspired me to do this was Faze Ruggs one. He did it in America in, I forgot where he's from. I think he's from like San Diego or something. Yeah. If you guys like this video and you enjoyed us giving a review, then please give a thumbs up and subscribe to me down below for more vlog fun with me and <coughs> all my friends and family and come join my life. Um, don't forget to check out my socials, they're always linked down below. My Instagram is Persian Bunny, my Twitter is The Persian Bunny, and my snap is Seppi Samai. Kim's Instagram is K I M I Y A B A G H A. You made that very long. She it's Kim Me About. Put my Twitter handle, wait, I don't use Twitter. <laughs> my Instagram handle right here. I shall. I shall write it across Burger the screen. <laughs> Burger King. Alright, I'm gonna go. Mwah. Ciao! Bye.